Rep Test 74, Section 1, Number 20, if the city builds the proposed convention center, several national professional organizations will hold conventions there. And if several large conventions are held in the city, the total number of visitors will, of course, increase. Tax revenues will certainly increase if the number of visitors increases. Thus, building the convention center will increase the city's tax revenues. Um, I'm just going to tell you the answer, which is there's a, a it, the argument sounds pretty good, right? But then it's a sufficient assumption question, right? Which means that the argument isn't actually good. It means that the argument is almost good. It means that there is one gap that needs to be filled in order to make the argument go. And here it's a really nice little um, shift between large, uh, sorry, between national professional organizations holding conventions and large conventions. See, because national professional organizations do not necessarily have to hold large conventions. National professional organizations could be small or they could be large national professional organizations but hold small conventions. And so that's the silly little trick here they, they, they sneak that in in between the second and third line of the argument, but that gap needs to be plugged. So the correct answer here in order to make this argument win is going to be uh, national professional organizations will hold large conventions. And that is buried all the way down there at E, which makes it a pretty tough one to find. but. Is the answer because it bridges that gap between national professional organization and large conventions. Answer Z.